I'm going to call this an ode to prayer and fasting. I almost went to sleep today while down on knees in prayer. I guess I'm not used to being in this position at such an early hour. At first, I felt embarrassed, a little bit ashamed, but I should have went to bed earlier. I only have myself to blame. I'm proud I made an effort. I'm glad I've made the start, for I can feel the desire for prayer growing each day within my heart. So if in passing you see me lying still between two padded pews, I'm either slain in the spirit or I'm getting rested up for round two. You see, I could have been passed out from a hangover or sleeping on the street or lying in a cemetery where the grass is all mown so neat. So when you're finished praying, you can lock up. Don't worry, I'll be fine. The good Lord will awaken me and I'll be at work by nine. Now, I really love our church, and it seems it's had enough prayer there to last. And now our pastor is trying to get our church to learn to love to fast. Love to fast? I can't believe it. Who does he think I am? From the time I was a kid, I've gotten hungry just hearing about green eggs and ham. A regular, a partial, or Daniel fast, I can choose the one that's right for me with ease. I'll only eat at restaurants that stay open until 10. I believe that includes Bahama Breeze. I missed my first meal. It wasn't that hard. And then I made it past another. But by the time that third meal was coming around, I thought I was going to need some prayer from my sisters and brothers. Then God's spirit took over and the flesh had been broken and a peace like a river did flow. And I knew from that moment that it wouldn't be long until upon another fast I would go. If I keep loving my church, loving to pray and to fast, I'll find that God's power is real. And in the process, I hope that it makes me become a man of great godly zeal.